we'll see this and uh, needless to say today it's going to be the introduction for this particular thing and the following weeks we will have more insight into what five is what three is what three is and what four is so for the next five weeks we are going to have a uh, uh, insight into the national education policy briefly sweetly in shortly okay so uh, this is the evolution of education policy our country has seen so far so it started in 1948 49 with university education commission and all these things i have i have just you know uh, graded down and national education policy this is the third one third one in a row uh, first one was in 1968 uh, focus was totally you know in a, in a, you know educating mind just to just to educate the people that's what the, that one was and national education policy 1986 uh, was focusing on uh, reaching out to as many people as we can as far as illiteracy is concerned and now the third one is uh, headed by chair chaired by dr k kasturi rangan committee uh, he has taken over in 31st march 2019 and he has uh, spearheaded in formulating the new national education policy 2020 uh needless to say this has got a lot of lot of lot of dimensions where the education policy as a india as a nation is going to be seen globally okay i will not read out the complete slide i have uh, instead you know bolded few sentences few words which can be focused on education is a fundamental policy the why education policy every country every country will have a policy that you know they have to be looked into like this their people have to be prepared like this and so that you know he will be useful for the entire society human mind so education is the prime fundamental thing for that achieving full human potential and uh, yeah the next line is very important we developing an equitable and just society not just a society promoting national development also so keeping these factors in mind and uh, i would like to add here that this is the first time the psychologists are also involved in preparing the education policy so it has got lot of lot of essence into the formula what has come out the second point providing universal access to quality education so far india has never seen an international university being set up in india and this policy gives a scope of international universities also coming into investing into our nation so instead of so we can probably see the people staying here itself and doing their higher studies within the country instead of brain drain so is the key for india's continued accent and all these scientific advancement national integration and cultural preservation we are going to retain everything within our country so education must build the character enable learners to be ethical rational and all these things these these particular factors what we are seeing in this particular sentence are mainly focusing on the 21st century skills for the children we will see that in detail in the next slide and the aim it must be you know for india to have an education system that is second to none and globally it's going to be a fantastic you know the child centric and very 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 you know appreciated form of policy and it is going to be till 2040 by 2040 it's going to be like that and the nep implementation is going to be practical till 2030 then till 40 we are going to see so for the next you know 20 years this is being planned for for all the regardless of the social economic background and education is given for everybody and uh, to achieve this what is that we have to see is this one so this has been formulated keeping the 21st century skills in mind 21st century skills as we all know it is a four c's communication creative thinking collaborative and critical thinking four c's okay communication it's very important for everybody in our days you know we are just seeing that you know uh, and uh, how important how prepared how ready our children are to take up the communication is what we have to see through our policy for that nep has formulated four learning pillars that is learning through knowing learning through doing learning through living together and learning through being self it is respectable towards the four c's what we have given in the bottom of the slide so for communication if you have to communicate properly you should know the other person the other person should also know you they should know where what you are and uh, what is that you are going to do that so communication is very important so we are going to that's that's a uh, that's a key element here where the regional language system is also coming to picture 
three language system is always there india is the country where we we can learn three languages and that still continues and more emphasis is given on communication part for me knowing self so learning through knowing and second one is learning through doing creatively okay so second c is covered there as far as doing is concerned more innovations are going to come more startups are going to come and people are going to you know be the job job creators rather than job seekers so that's what it is expected okay instead of becoming the youth becoming job uh, seekers they are going to become job creators so our youth are going to be prepared for that learning through living together and that will have only if we have got values in mind so collaborative collaborative is the essence there and how well to collaborate how to respect the other person how to value the other person how to value other culture religion other person so this is what collaborative is going to be so right from the school level we are going to promote this particular activity in the schools also then learning through being self first of all know yourself who you are critically think about where you stand individual potential is completely hidden now everything is so far i mean what is happening so far is you know we are being driven by the you know the knowledge of the teacher the ambition of the teacher the expectations of the parents everything is put on others here it's not like that we are going to be self he will be suddenly discovering that you know i am a wonderful artist why shouldn't i do that i am a wonderful you know singer why shouldn't i go for singing why i am a wonderful actor i can go for that i am a wonderful i am very good in you know carpentry let me do that you know so vocational education is coming into this picture where the children are going to be exposed to so this is the this is the most most you know the gist of the 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 beautiful cream of nap 2020 that is a four learning pillars learning through knowing learning through doing so let us all focus on these particular factors and what in whatever we do let us help them in communicating properly let us help them in doing properly with a creative and innovative manner let us help them to living together let us all be together in an empathetic way not sympathetic way and uh, critical thinking of being self all right and uh, this is what our our structure is you know 5334 is like this the foundation is the first one where the reception level it's called the reception level where the child is going to be entering into the nursery uh when he is 3 years old it's going to be mandatory for that 3 years and uh, we will go into deeper of foundation next week by an expert speaker and uh, similarly uh the three next three is preparatory classes 3 to 5 and this is also we are going to uh, do this into, into more into this particular level in the following week to come and similarly the middle one 6 to 8 classes in the three and finally the secondary level 9 to 12 in the last week there is a fifth week so starting today we are going to have five weeks of you know learning five weeks of you know enlightenment five weeks of wonderful wonderful inputs about what best we can do for our future generations thank you so much for this thank you so much uh, sai charan